There is no easy road to what you want. It's a long road. You got a lot of people that want to be a doctor. Some people don't want to go to school for eight years. Right. right. But the ones that go to school for eight years end up being some of the best doctors ever and live a doctor's lifestyle. Some people say a doctor's lifestyle sucks. Not the doctor that dreamed to be the doctor. Right. He loves right, it because right. that's what he wanted to do. Everybody want to be a lawyer. Some people don't want to go to school for that eight to ten years. The ones that make it out end up being some of the best lawyers in the world and are very happy with their practice and the people that need it on a day-to-day basis. It took work to get there. Everybody that wants to do something doesn't understand the steps that you have to take to get there. It's not just in entertainment. It's in all aspects of life, man. And that's what I learned at a young age. Because if I just think, well, tomorrow I'm just going to coast and eat Twinkies and watch TV. Oh, hello, sadness, my old friend. Hello, depression. Because when you're not doing anything, you feel like shit. And that's just a part of being a human being. And we can pretend that we're something other than what we really are. And we can pretend, nah, me, man, I'm just cool, just chilling, doing nothing. Bullshit. You're a fucking human. You're a human being. You're, you evolved from the fucking hundreds of thousands of years of hunters and gatherers and people that were struggling. Human reward systems are carved deeply into your DNA. And if you don't respect that, if you don't respect the mechanism of happiness and fulfillment and what you really need to do in order to feel satisfied in life, camaraderie, love, family, friendship, struggle, testing yourself, learning, all those things are imperative. They're all a giant part of being a person. If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit. Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with it, you commit yourself to an act of service. You commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. You can screw it up, you can eat chocolate cake one day, you can skip a day or two, but if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. Going to the gym for nine hours does not get you into shape. Working out every day for 20 minutes gets you into shape. It's not about the events. It's not about intensity. It's about consistency. They put my father in jail for $25 worth of illegal substance. They put him in jail for seven years. This man was an educator in the hood, in the the inner cities, educating kids. The judge that he would have come to the school and talk to the kids presided over his case and put him in jail. And what they didn't understand was their father taught me everything. Told me how to throw football, uh, uh, basketball. Told me how to play tennis. And I was like, why why am I learning how to play tennis? He said, because I don't want you to be limited. So when they put him in jail, however, what what do we do as a family? And I don't like visiting jail. I don't like that type of perception. So I I said, I I told my pops, I I, I can't come see you because I see you as a king. But I wrote him, I wrote him a letter. I said, hey, you know, Things have gotten good for me. When you get out, I'll save your life. And he's been living with me for 20 years now. Wow. Same house. It's 44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside. But no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a test. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. This is my excuse today. But guess what? You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life. Prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you. It's your responsibility to find your new 100%. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have the courage?